car all the way around them. That, <laughs> you drive around in trucks and you start lighting all that shit on fire all the way around everything they're in and just let that motherfucker burn. Burn, baby, burn. Like Carol did already in one season. Yes. Remember? Yeah, she did. She set them on fire. Right? Now, here's the thing. Gas may be old, right? And it ain't good for cars to drive in. That motherfucker shit burns. You know that fucking shit burns. I really hope we have a zombie apocalypse in my lifetime. <laughs> First place I gotta go is Phillips' house, get my guns. Then I'll go to Centerville. <laughs> I might not be there. Oh, you'll wait for me. Wait for me, James. No, I mean, I might be moved by then. No. Oh. Wait for me, James. I'm going to hide in your hayloft. <laughs> Have a hayloft? <laughs> I'm going to hide in your hayloft. Oh, my God. That would be so funny. Oh, man. That's what I don't like about having this shit on there. I need to fucking I need to get my golf towel out. Now, need a place that's a hill and that's height. Oh yeah, you gotta have the uh, height. Yeah, you got. That's your only. Yeah, I'm smart enough to know that. I don't know that. It, key key it to surviving really, is you gotta keep moving. It really pissed me off this whole whisperer bullshit because they could be killed so easy. And the other thing is, when they're sitting out there in that field, and and they've got the other girl, right? They've got the mask, you know, and they're holding the other ones hostage. They didn't have any guns. Right? No, yeah. And Alpha's like, I'm Alpha. I'm the one in charge. <laughs> Pop. Who else is in charge? <laughs> they got Negan actually starting to come out to be a good guy. Well, that's part of Rick's dream that he had. I wonder how they're going to tie him back into it. Well, if you know from listening to him talk in the jail cell, that's how he started. The Saviors. He wasn't starting out as an evil person. He started out, he wanted to save people. You know what I mean? The Saviors. What do we do? We save people. But you got to follow my fucking rules. Right? And to keep people in control. We're going to kill you. And then, what happened? All power consumes you. Well, at least some people it does, right? I know it would consume the fuck out of me. <laughs> watching, uh, I like watching American Dad. And there's an episode where, uh, being the, uh, the kid that reads all the announcements, and he show how the power goes to their heads. <laughs> God, it was funny. We're all monkey fish frogs. I love that. I've seen probably every South Park at least once. <laughs> Possibility, I, I would say the over under on each episode's got to be at least five. It's got to be. Oh, I left my sunglasses. Is there a nice pair in here? Oh, well, you need them. Yeah, I do. I don't know why. What are we on, Telgi again? Yep. I was amazed the other day I drove down Telgi. It's still the same, yet then there's shit popping up in different places. Yeah. And Telgi still looks the fucking same. I'll just... And then I saw that, and I'm like, what the fuck? Who sold all that land? Son of a bitch. I thought about, I want to be closer to Austin. Really? Yeah. Well, that's well, where all the you, filming is. You spend a lot of time in California, and Austin is a little no, that's socialist where all, town. That's where all the filming is. I don't want to live in Austin. I want to be closer drive to Austin. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't want to get a job working on a set, right? Yeah. And it takes me two hours to drive there. 
It's a two-day job. I work 14 hours, right? That's 16 hours right there of a day, one way. Now, 17, 18 the other way. How long do I got to sleep at my turnaround time? Uh, I, I did that when I was in the Navy. I lived about two, two and a half, four hours away from my ship. Yeah, I think it's eight hours or six hours to turn around time. So the time they wrap is when you come back. So let's say they wrap at eight. I lose two hours, nine, ten, driving home to sleep. Yeah. And I lose two hours going back the next morning. That's four hours. That means that's only four hours of sleep I get. Well, four hours of sleep. Back in our 20s, we could pull that off. Yeah, but you can't do that a lot. Let me tell you what. I used to do that driving. I, I, I could, yeah. I used to. I mean, I used to work all day doing construction and then go work a bar shift all night long at a restaurant. And then get back up at 4.30 in the morning, go work construction all fucking day. And go work at the restaurant. I don't know how the fuck I did it. Well, I'm going to vary an hour or two. My schedule on a ship would be like this. We would have muster, let's say, 7 o'clock in the morning. Meaning Reveille was at 6. Reveille, you got to get up, get your shit together, get your uniform on, go eat breakfast. How long do you have to get ready? What do they give you? Well, I mean, regular working day, I'm telling you. Let's say Reveille would be about 6 in the morning if mustard at 7. Mustard? Mustard, uh, where you got to line up and they take attendance and then tell you what the plan of the day is. And then you go eat breakfast? No, you, you don't eat breakfast. You eat breakfast before you go to quarters. Before you go to mustard? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after after mustard, man, it's like breaking a huddle. Okay, ready, break. And you go to where you're have to work all day on the ship. And that's what you did. And then lunch would, let's just say, be from 12 to 12.30. For some reason, it seems like that's a little long. Then you go eat. What I would do is take a fucking nap. And then you would hear, uh, you know, the announce, okay, you know, a little whistle and you, know, you turn to. Go back to work until about five, let's say. And if you had duty, you're still working. Now, if it was a duty day, if you had watch during the day, you would you would have to. Oh, I see. You got the noon watch. Okay, so from eight to eleven, I'm working, and then eleven, I would go back down to uh, birthing, clean up, shower up, put on a dress uniform, and go to watch you go eat once and then you would go do your watch. So, yeah. And you're on watch for four hours. That four hour watch could be uh, 12 to four afternoon, four to eight, eight to midnight, midnight to four in the morning, four to four to eight in the morning, and then of course be back to eight to noon. It's always 24 hours or somebody up on a four day. A watch team, so. Let's say you had duty, you know, okay, all right, guys, in the duty section, y'all still have to keep doing this and that. And if we had to practice a drill, like a uh, security alert, they would blow it. Well, you'd have to, while you're working, they have a little security alert practice or a little firefight practice. Generally, you didn't go to bed on your duty day until well after 10 o'clock at night. This is the import. Yeah. Why you import? Damn it, damn it. Now, if you didn't have duty, all that other stuff applies, but what we would do, as soon as they said knock off ships work, and we were done, they'd like kids on the last day of school. <laughs> I ain't shit you. Kids on the last day of fucking school. Hurry up. Run down, jump in the shower, <laughs> get your clothes on, run off that fucking quarter deck, get to whoso, whoever, well, I had a car, so I, and then, uh, 
go go chasing women all night long come dragging your ass back in at three four five in the morning <laughs> standing there at muster like a fucking zombie you're hung over <laughs> barely move and you drag all motherfucking day long if you don't have duty so at the end of the day all right dog off ship's work all of a sudden you got a burst of energy like you slept 12 hours <laughs> And I say, oh man, today's my duty day. Oh my lord, that's the only time you really got any rest. When you were on duty? Yeah, when you had <laughs> duty, because you wasn't out in town drinking and chasing chicks. Now out to sea, pretty much the same except different. One, you're not leaving the ship. Well, you're not chasing pussy either. Yeah, you're not chasing pussy either. Now, well, you chasing were constantly on, I mean, we would do things like underway replenishment, pull ship to ship and run lines and supply. Underway, so um, you're under... Underway, out to sea. Oh, I thought you said underway. I thought you meant under underway. extreme waves, like no. y'all do practice. Underway means out to sea. Yeah, yeah, you're out to sea. Yeah. I knew that. So, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let me be nice today. I mean... And then you had your at sea watches where you're up on the quarter deck and you had to watch the one guy steered, one guy controlled the speed, right. one guy was the messenger, and you had your lookouts, uh, both port starboard man, and you would rotate them every hour. And then most of the watch, which is what I was, was in charge of it all. What did you do? Just make the rounds? Just make sure make, they were doing uh, their... Make sure they do their job. Make sure they weren't sleeping? I was at the beck and call of the officer of the, ad officer of the deck. The OD. Yeah. So, usually every course now, change, every speed change, I was somewhere near. Now, the officer the, on the deck, is he usually a sergeant or is it... No, he's an officer. He's a... Yeah, he's... He's an officer. Oh, officer? Yeah. Really? Yeah, there's no enlisted... Uh, there's no enlisted OODs underway. Oh. You know, complete, having complete control of the ship. Well, I knew not complete control of the ship. I just thought you meant, I don't know, no. basically second in command, you know, to the captain. Oh, yeah, that is. Uh, well, there's a captain in the XO, and then the, the senior officer after that. Yes, but underway, whoever's got the officer of the deck is. At the discretion of the captain, so he's Holt trucking. Did you ever know the Holts? No, I can't remember. And then they put a brew pub right here, I don't, and that was his land. So I guess I don't know who runs that. I want to find out. Yeah. Go ahead. But yeah, uh, you, anywhere, any, you know, you got you're on that bridge for four hours, and. Uh, <laughs> Most of the watch was uh, during working hours was in charge of making all the announcements and anything like that as well. Then you had a messenger. You can send your messenger anywhere on the ship and go check on somebody go get something. Pussifer, the group. Who? Pussifer. No, not yet. Oh, oh man, you. Oh, yeah, man. It's another crazy. You would love it. It's uh, Maynard. James Maynard. It's another group he started. Yeah. Way back when? Way back uh, when. Well, not way back when. I mean, seems like everything was way back when now. It is. <coughs> but, um, you'd love his songs. You know who he is, right? Nine Inch. Uh, no. Tool. Oh, I like Tool. You need to understand, I'm a little La La Land right here. Them employees acting like kids at that fucking gas station. I know, what was up with that? I, I, I don't know. That was a grown ass woman. With another grown ass woman. With an older grown ass woman. 
guess they were bored. Okay. Oh, jeez. Come on now. Y'all don't need to act like that. Oh, my God. I mean, it's amazing how adults now get to act like little six-year-olds. Well, I mean, I don't mind it because, you know, I'm not an adult. Oh, that's another thing about Cal. Right, hang on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play you Pussifer. Uh, collection. Pussifer. Pussifer Radio. Hopefully one of the Pussifer songs actually plays. And Is not, it on Spotify? Or uh, not Spotify. Uh, Pandora. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. I got iHeart. It doesn't let you do an individual search. Yeah, it doesn't really here, but I have a station dedicated to Pussifer. Uh, on, um, on Pandora. And I just don't like a lot of the suggestions they give me because I want to hear only. What's up? I got tired of Spotify. Every two songs, it's fucking commercial. And then you can make your own little folder, but when oh. you play it, it's the same fucking songs. But yeah, I got a, had a folder of like 140 songs. They played the same 30 over and over. I forgot I didn't have volume up. I could. I thought the song wasn't playing. I changed it. I had it on a push up her song. Well, I'll look it up when we get to where we're going. Hang on, we'll see if it plays. No, and that's Pet. Perfect circle. Here we go. Holiday on the Moon. Huh. I like that. Holiday on the Moon. All right, Flamus. Bye.